And the chainsaw I'm using for this demonstration is my uh, Magnum 880 from Steel. It's a pretty big power head and it's got a 5 foot bar, which I guess is also pretty big. And I use this uh, chainsaw for my chainsaw mill. When it runs, it like really runs. I really put it to work um, cutting through a lot of material. So anyway, it's really crucial that I clean this chainsaw every day, or not every day, but every day that I use it, because not cleaning it causes friction. Friction takes away from your power, and when you're cutting through four feet of wood, you need all the power you can get. But the true would be for any chainsaw, because the power head is always relative to the size of the bar, so even if you have a smaller bar, you also have a smaller power head, and it still needs as much power as possible uh, to run as efficiently as possible, and actually prolong the life of the chainsaw, so. Okay, so what I use to clean the chainsaw is a uh, mixed solution of crud cutter and water. Uh, do a high ratio mix, and then I just got this dishwasher or scrubber thing from uh, Target, and that works pretty well too. But before we do that, I'm going to use an air hose to get rid of as much of it as I can. Uh, that way I don't have to deal with all the as, quite as much muck. So basically, everywhere that you start to see buildup uh, start to occur, it's going to continue to occur there uh, until it just gets so big and clunky that just going to keep things from moving um, so easily, so that's why it's good to, to get rid of all that and uh, it's a lot easier to get rid of it if you do it on a daily basis. It's not real necessary to get too far in, I don't think, maybe once a year I'll really dig into it and, uh, and clean out the insides, but as far as you know, regular maintenance goes, what I've just done is, is sufficient. It's really important that when you're, uh, after you scrub every surface, that you use the air hose and a rag to get everything really dry, as dry as possible, get all the water out, because you don't want to cause rust. Now the chainsaw has so much oil running through it that um, I don't think rust is a real big issue, but, um, but it's always a good idea just to get remove that water as, as much as possible. Alright, now that my power head is clean, I'm going to clean the bar. The bar is also very critical to keep clean, because as you can see it has this this build up here that's really not slick at all um, and this is going to add a lot of friction when you're trying to push the bar through the wood so got to get rid of all that and that's the hardest stuff to get rid of so I kind of just wet it down with this side and let it soak for a minute and then I scrub it hard with this Now I have a clean chainsaw. Now all I have to do is put the bar and the chain back on, which is actually a little bit difficult <laughs> with the bar this size. But uh, you can see that video coming up next. All right, thanks guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.